Canada's National Ballet School wrapped up two days of auditions in St. Catharines recently. The auditions brought out dancers from Niagara and beyond. Those on hand were vying for spots in the school's summer program. We're really assessing their potential, so it's going to be a lot of standing actually. We're taking a look at their physique and looking at their demi-plie, looking at their turnout, their flexibility, how they move, their movement quality, their musicality. So we have quite a few criteria that we'll be looking at for them today. I'm sure these students are, are feeling some nerves this morning. What will you tell them before you begin? Basically, we're not looking for perfection. We're just really looking for potential. So just for them to have a good time and dance their hearts out and, uh, and we'll just look for potential. We audition about a thousand people all across Canada and we're getting to the end of our auditions at this point. So uh, we'll probably have about 175 that will come to our summer school this July. So uh, yeah, we've gotten a lot already. Have you literally been covering the country in this process? Absolutely. We go from east to west every year, scouting for talent. Ballet Etc. has opened their doors for auditions like this for several years. And Jane Elliott knows exactly what these young dancers are feeling. Some of them are uh, probably pretty nervous, but some of them, I think they're just here for the experience of auditioning and it's another opportunity to take class and some of them um, probably know that they might not be accepted, but they like the, um, the feeling that they get from being a part of the process. And some of them will get accepted um, and ha the kids will have no idea that they uh, even had a chance, but they came just for fun. So it's, 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 it's a great thing to watch. When they call the number, you sort of see the panic on the parents' face a little bit more than the kids. <laughs> Some of today's dancers are now faced with the decision of following their passion for ballet to summer school in Toronto. At first I was really nervous, but then yesterday I did the open class and it got me less nervous. So I wasn't very nervous for the audition, but I was still a little bit nervous. Martine and Jane offered up words of encouragement for all the dancers in attendance. You can't take it personally, it just is what it is. If your legs aren't long enough or your feet aren't, you know, um, your insteps are not as flexible as somebody else's. So it really, it starts there first. And I think they look for that, but then they also look for that spark inside the kids of the drive and their love of music and movement. So you can teach all of that at a, you know, a place like the National Ballet School, but you can't change someone's physique. So. As long as the kids go in there knowing that and they come out feeling okay about themselves, then I think it's a great experience. And we're just, we're a really small school and there's so many schools around, so I would encourage them to try out for other schools because we all have different criteria we're looking for and to re-audition as well because uh, dancers change as they age, so uh, just to keep going and hopefully really enjoy dancing. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.